How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is actually talk about the ways that you can set up your system to kind of help aid you in troubleshooting. What we're going to do is I'm going to pull a graphic up for one of our air handlers and talk about a couple of things. Now most of the time when we are looking at our system we can see various uh, scenarios you know as far as like what the system is doing. If we're trying to figure out why an air handler is discharging high or low of course this particular unit is off at the moment so that's something that uh, I'm just going to be using this as an example. Uh, now, one of the things that you can do when you are setting up some of the links within the graphics of your devices, many of the components you can actually link to other systems. For example, here we have our preheat coil as well as our cooling output coil. And these are just what I want to focus with on that one. For example, if we had an air handler that was discharging high, and we noticed that the cooling valve was at 100%. And again, guys, you know, just ignore this. Of course, I know that this air handler is off. It's actually shut down for the moment. But if we had a uh, an air handler discharging high with the valve calling for 100%, the first step that we're going to take pro after that is probably going to be to check the chilled water system. So instead of having to go back all the way through my navigation, I can simply link the uh, coil here to... The the chilled water system. All I'm going to do here is just press that coil and you can see that it's actually going to pull me into the chilled water system. And from here I can see if my system is running, I can see what my supply temperature is, my return temperature, and that sort of thing. And the same can be done. I'm just going to go back to my previous screen and zoom back in and the same can be said about the preheat system as well okay i'm going to go in here and i'm going to pull up the hot water system because i have it linked to the system uh, to that graphic particular graphic within the air handler you can see here we do have an alarm flag on this boiler uh, but of course we're currently running the steam system this boiler is disabled but it is uh, you know still flagging an alarm it's just a little bit of cleanup that we've got to do in our database but guys, this is a very powerful tool as far as being able to help you troubleshoot your system. I mean, there's a lot that you can put into this system to help you, to help someone that may not be as familiar with the system as, uh, you know, an inexperienced tech or something like that. You can build in a lot of conveniences within this particular system that will help you. You know, I've talked in previous videos about how that you can overlay your graphics, your uh, floor plans, and things like that with some of the mechanical drawings. And that is a very helpful way of making your overall system a uh, a, a bit more flexible, a bit more useful. You know, this is just one of many ways that I can do, uh, you know, some of the steps in this. And, you know, and adding notes, you can put notes within your system. Uh, you have already seen where we have the, uh, you know, our drawings linked to the, uh, some of the buildings to where I can actually pull up drawings directly from uh, the system, you know, that is something that can be very helpful. You can actually take snapshots of different sections of your drawings and put them right directly into the graphics. And there's just a lot of flexibility. The more time that you invest in making your system more functional, the better off you're going to be and the more helpful that your system will be when you go to use it. And that's what the goal is, is to try to simplify a lot of what we do by having things at our fingertips when we need them. And you can see here this drawing here. You can see a lot of the original notes that were put in from back years ago when this system was first commissioned. Having this available can make trouble troubleshooting very handy and having it right within your system is a great way to do that you know typically a lot of times a lot of us will have a book or something with drawings located somewhere in a office or storage room but adding it directly into the system and then doing steps like this can help make the system a lot more flexible for you and give you a lot more uh, freedom it can help you to work 
a lot more efficiently and things like that. But guys, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do. Uh, just something that I wanted to bring up. And it is something that I think can help your overall building automation system become much more flexible. But guys, just a quick video I wanted to do. Thanks for watching. Check out all the rest of the videos on the channel. If you have any questions, leave those down below. Visit my website at systemcontroltechnot.net. Dot net, and we will see you next time.